Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KG4E, and welcome back to Valheim. All right, so a lot of tips in the last uh, video I put up. Um, the fermenter can be used to craft meads, things that will give you buffs like stamina, heal you, the cauldron is needed uh, to prepare stuff for the fermenter. So I'm pretty sure today's video is going to be about the about the um, the fermenter. Um, we will see. I do have some of the things I need um, to make some of these. Like I like the medium healing thing. Uh, it's better than minor healing because blueberries, I like to use the blueberries for the jam, right? Uh, but the the blood bags are pretty far away. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to put another teleporter probably over here. I'm thinking about even moving this teleporter over there. I'm not really sure. Um, I can make another teleporter. I'm, I'm hoping I get 100% of the stuff back. But I would like a teleporter over here because it's a swamp area. And that will allow me to farm up the blood bags um, so I can get... A bunch of um, medium healing potions. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to need poison resist or frost resist. Maybe frost resist will allow me to go to the mountains. I'm not really sure. Um, I did make some sausage, but I'm going to save that for when we go into real combat. Probably for the boss. Uh, I'm going to start thinking about getting ready for the boss as well. Uh, because I need three of those ancient seeds to summon the next boss. Alright, um, use the torch in one hand uh, if you go chopping wood and you don't want to get bothered by gray dwarves or boars attacking you. That's a good tip. Uh, if you have a, if basically, if you have a torch out when you're out, all the little, the little small guys won't bother with you. But here's the thing. I need what they drop, so I'm kind of okay with them attacking me. Um, try to find bees nest. Haven't noticed you use any. Yeah, that's, that's pretty weird because I've got three bee bees nests over here. I've had this one for a long time. I've had this one for a pretty long time, and this one's kind of new. So yeah, I've been doing the bee thing, man. I've got like over two stacks of honey already. So yeah, doing pretty good with that. Let's see how much honey we have. Oh, okay. So only a, only a little over a stack of honey. All right, not as much as I thought, but that's okay. We're, we're saving it up. Uh, when exploring, use the middle mouse button on the map to ping the location. Uh, does that show up on the mini map? Oh, oh, it shows up in the game. Oh, wow. Cool. How do I get rid of it? Okay. Wait, did it go away automatically or... Is it only there for a certain amount of time? That's a good tip, though. Thank you for that. That is awesome. Uh, building nice things around the house, like deer carpets, chairs, tables, give you comfort level and makes rested buff last longer. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't even know what rested buff does, to be honest. Uh, or how to check it. Um, let's see if I can find it really quickly. Trophies. Um, that's my skills. Active buffs, okay. Um, rested. Yeah, you feel rested. Health regen is fast. Oh, Okay. So the rested buff is really good. All right. I will look into that. Probably won't do it today, but I will look into that. Um, Minimap tells what biome you're in. Okay. I did not notice that before, so that's awesome. And someone said in the comments they're not a fan of using the axe as a weapon. And the reason is durability. And I kind of agree. I kind of agree. When you're hitting trees and, and enemies, this durability is kind of weak sauce. I think I'm going to go for a new weapon. Probably the mace. That's kind of what I think I'm looking at at this at this point. So I do want to go out and do some mining. Oh, also someone said that you can use the cart. Just be careful. Or somebody said they, they never have any problems with their carts. Um, yeah, I lost my cart, which really pissed me off. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll use the cart again. But if it breaks again, I'm just going to stop using it. Um, and you can repair it. You just need to put down a workbench so I can do that. See, it just hit. It, it'll hit a couple things here. Also, part of the problem is the... Uh, the Black Forest that I have to deal with, uh, I got two problems actually. The Black Forest that I go to is very steep hills, which also makes the cart kind of a pain in the ass. Okay, so the cart's a pain in the ass because of the steep hills uh, of the Black Forest in the area I'm dealing with. The other thing is you can't take the cart through the teleporter, which, you know, really sucks. Now here's the problem. You can't take ores, you can't take anything... Uh, or related through the teleporter. I can't take copper through the teleporter. I can't take copper ingots through the teleporter. I can't take the ores. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to drag the card out here um, to get ores because otherwise I'll be coming back every like freaking two minutes um, because you fill up pretty quickly. Pretty quickly. All right, let's see how damaged this thing is now. It's another thing. I don't like it because it rolls down hills all the time. It's annoying. Yeah, I mean, like, any kind of, like, elevation change or something, it's going to start rolling down a hill. 
Let's take a look at how damaged it is right now. Yeah, it's, it's not really damaged damage, but it's damaged enough. So what I would do is, I would put down a workbench. And I would repair this. Okay, that doesn't take that long. So, and you get all your wood back anyway. So, all right. Sounds pretty good. Not in the right position. There we go. All right, let me go find some uh, some copper. So this is kind of weird. I'm being attacked by skeletons here. Oops. Oh, maybe I should have my shield up. There you go. Yeah, it's really weird I'm getting attacked by skeletons here. That's never happened before. I don't know where the hell they even came from. What is this? Is it more copper? No. Yeah, I saw another one over here. I don't know where they went. Anyway, I've been mining out here uh, for quite a bit. The, the the cart's taking a little bit of damage. I think when I go home... By the way, I'm not going to go home tonight. I've got a little outpost right over there by the troll cave. I'll just go to sleep there. Um, but here's the thing. When I go home, I think I'm going to make my way down to the water and take the water home. I kind of want it to stay away from the water. Because like the last thing I need is my cart rolling into the water. I might never get it back or anything that's in it. But, I mean, yeah, that's really tough. What happens if it rolls in the water? I think I might want to stay up top, actually. Yeah, maybe I'll, you know what? Forget that. I'm gonna stay up top. I don't need that thing rolling into the water. I can almost guarantee you, there's a really good chance if it rolls in the water, I'm gonna lose everything in it permanently. Okay. I would like to walk out of here with 20 copper as well, because I want it, the next thing I want to make is a pickaxe. Although I'm probably gonna carry this pickaxe with me as well, because I have an area up here that has um, my little troll cave area over here is pretty dope but i don't have a um i don't have the uh the, me the metal workbench the f uh the forge yeah the forge so i can't repair it although i guess six copper and some coal i could probably make this over here might be a good idea because there's a pretty decent amount of copper in this area to be honest like there's a node there there's a node here there's a node over there i haven't finished i haven't even dug down for stuff so yeah I think we're gonna be mining copper over here for a while, so maybe it'll be worth that copper. The, the thing is, if I make the um, if I make the if I make the uh, the forge workbench, and then I break it, do I get all six copper back? Because if I do, then yeah, I'll make it. It's a big deal. You just break it, and you get it back, and make it in another spot. Pretty sure you do, but I probably want to double check. Okay, it worked. I got the cart all the way back. Beautiful. Now we're gonna be slow as hell, but that is okay. Um, so here's the deal. As I was coming through, I'm like, I should get rid of that stone. I should get rid of that tree. I should make a trail going through the woods. And I kind of want to, but as a let's play, like, I don't have the time. Like, that would take so much freaking time. So maybe if I get some time, I'll stream it. I could, I could definitely do that on stream. So maybe, just maybe, we could do that. All right, so we got a lot of stone in here, so that's nice. And we've also got a lot of copper. So let me go ahead and cook up all this copper. I'm probably gonna have to go get some tin well actually no i don't uh basically what i want to do is i want to make a pick like right now so and i have enough tin so that's great all right let's make ourselves some bronze okay and i think this is the last one we can make but that will be enough for a pick um i do have to get some more tin but the, i wanted to pick first so um i'm hoping the pick is only only 10 10 bronze or whatever but uh not seeing it okay so it's definitely only 10 but what am i missing oh i need some core wood okay i got some core wood floating around here somewhere uh is that core wood yes how many did it say three pretty sure it said three gotta keep this place lit up and there we go guys we should now have no uh yep there we go bronze pick beautiful Okay, moving up in the world. Okay, in order to get 10, I'm going to need to go out to the danger area. So I'd like to get some blueberries while I'm out there as well, hopefully. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to get 10. I'm going to use my teleporter. And, oh, that's right. I turned off the teleporter. I tried to take the I tried to take the cart through the teleporter, and it, the cart didn't come with me. It just gets dropped off at the teleporter, you know? Uh, so when I came back, the cart was, like, by the teleporter, and I couldn't get... The cart without going into the... It was a mess. So I had to turn off the teleporter. Um, yeah. Alright, well, let's see what we got going on out here. Got some wood. This might be some tin right over here. That looks like tin, actually. Yep. Cool. Alright. 
There we go. And I would like to get some blueberries while I'm out here, too. We'll see. We'll see. I'd like to get eight at least. It'd be nice if we could farm blueberries. Like, maybe make the blueberry bush, like, or something. Maybe with the raspberries as well. That'd be pretty cool. Okay. And I might even get into some scraps out here if I feel like it. If I see a troll, I'm going to go for it. Nope, oh, damn it. I didn't want to do that last swing. Alright, bird. So I think the tin is usually by the water, right? Isn't that the isn't that the deal? I'm pretty sure the tin is at the water. We're gonna get heavy too. Um although tin doesn't seem to be as heavy as copper, but it might be. It might be just as heavy as copper. Not really sure. I'd like to um fill up my weight with tin and then drop it off. And don't forget, we're going to have to run home, too. Oh, I hate that. I hate the way you can't put this stuff through the teleporter. But I guess the teleporters are pretty... The teleporters are re relatively cheap, to be honest. Oh, another thing. Did, do the salting things or the salting things or whatever that spawn in those caves that allow you to make the teleporter, do they respawn as well? We got a lot of big boys over there. Let's do this. Damn it. You didn't reach me. I'm trying to parry. Come on, let me parry. There you go. Beautiful. So do you, you do more damage on a parry? Like if you parry him, do you do more damage? I think you do. Come on. It's a little harder to parry though when you got multiple guys coming in. Whoop. Okay. Oh, we got, so you gotta parry the big guy. Shoot, I, I... See, I go to hit the small guys, and then he gets the hit on me. There you go. Oh, damn it. These guys are tough, man, because there's so many of them. Okay. Alright, here we go. The guy walks away, I like that. Is there a troll in the... Okay. I saw a big rock. It was just a rock, not a troll. Damn it. Alright, well, I'm getting better with it. I'm just not getting it as much as I would like to. The whole parry thing. Thought I saw a troll. It was just that... It was just a big-ass boulder. Okay. Well, let's look around. Grab some of our fat loots. And see what this building is all about. Ooh, copper. Copper. Copper! Copper, copper! Okay, so we got over here. I don't like all that mist. Oh, a barrel. And a stool. <laughs> I'm gonna sit. No, I'm not gonna sit. Okay, you think that barrel? How's my weight? Weight's looking okay? Oh, trying to hide your chest from me, huh? I think not, my friend. I think not. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, so that's just a roof, so I don't think there's anything up there. There we go. Oh, uh, we need these things as well. Uh, for, I think, the sausage. So I'm cooking up all the tin to make the bronze I need for the fermenter. And I'm coming out here looking for fine... Fine wood, right? And I'm having a real hard time with it. Is um is it supposed to be this rare? Is it it does fine wood only uh what am I missing? No, I'm good. As far as food goes, that's what I was looking at. Does fine wood only spawn in the meadows? And if so, is it just like a rare tree? Cause uh, man, I'd really love an easier way to get this freaking fine wood, man. I needed to upgrade my bow. And uh, quite a few other things as well. I'm hoping it's, like, more prevalent in maybe another biome somewhere. You don't even get a lot from the trees, either. I cut some trees down over here, some of these uh, birch trees, and I, I, don't, I don't know where it is now. I cut it down, but then my axe broke. So I don't know where it... <laughs> oh, there they are. There's the logs. Very good. We continue getting this, uh... Is it called fine wood? It is called fine wood, right? Yeah. We continue getting the fine wood, and we're going to make the fermenter today, and the medium health potion. Alright, there we go. We got our five five copper. 
and I'm gonna put the rest of that. Sorry, five uh, bronze, and put the rest of that stuff away. Man, we are really low on copper again already. Jeez, getting copper is a pain. All right, so the fermenter has to be inside. I think somebody said. So we still need resin. That's okay. I got plenty of resin. There you go. And we'll put this stuff... Uh, you know what? I might as well just go throw this in here really quick. Take the rest of that. And put you in there. And let's drop this stuff off to make our loads lighter. Well, not that, but... Okay. Alright, is that everything? I think so. Where do I want to put the fermenter? I, you know, I'm going to have to do a base building episode at some point. You know, the funny thing is about the base building is, like, normally I'm all over the base building, but this game has such interesting progression that has nothing to do with base building that I tend not to do a lot of base building in this game. But I guess I should. Okay. So now we need... What do we need to make the healing? Uh, medium healing. Okay. Okay. Honey, raspberry, dandelion, blood bags. Honey, 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 honey. Dandelion. Dandelion's over here. Alright, what else is I missing? Medium healing. Uh, oh yeah, the raspberries. I think I have a decent amount of his raspberries. Okay, and there we go. What was that noise? Hey, get out of here! Hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? I think that's pretty hilarious. First of all, that he ran in that I didn't notice. And second of all, that he just left. <laughs> because I might want to close my doors. Okay. So then we put that in here. There we go. Medium heal healing is fermenting. I'm assuming that's like... Can I, can I use that on the run? Do I have to stop? Does it have a drink animation? What's, I wonder what the deal is with that. Uh, what else? Um, I should probably mess with the frost. I got. I gotta go get more leeches. I gotta, maybe we'll do that today. I definitely gotta kill more leeches. I feel like I killed a lot of leeches, man. I don't really have a lot of leech stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's pretty good. Alright, you done? No, you're not done yet. You know what, let's load that up. I'm going to load this thing up, sleep through the night, and then I think we are going to go uh, back to the uh, back to the swamp. I think it'll be pretty fun. Alright, so we're up here in the meadows, right on the border of the swamp. So I think this will be teleporter... Um, what, what happens if I put this as teleport number one? I don't really know. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to run back this time or not. Um, but whatever, we're going to put down a teleporter either way. Okay, and it looks pretty good to me. And let's see what happens if we put it as number one. I'm just, I'm kind of curious. It says unconnected. Is that because I already have one that says number one? Hmm, probably. That would make sense. Okay, so number two. Alright. So, yeah, we're going to have to run home after this. I'll probably stay here for the night, though, because, you know. Uh, so what we're going to do is it's going to be outpost... Outpost number two. Now this is outpost number one, outpost number two. I have to rename this to outpost number three or four, depending on how many outposts I have by the time I get over there. Okay. All right, now if I die, I should be able to just change the, the teleport at my base to number two and get here pretty quickly. All right. What the fuck are those? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Fucking blob. Oh crap, some kind of DOT on me. Alright, I think we're gonna go ranged on these guys. Seven. Okay, I wonder what kind of dot that was. Right, I'm a f oh god, I'm still hurting. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Alright. Yeah, we'll get some hit points back. I don't mind going over to the melee them. I just want to, uh... Alright. And these are the, um, 
uh, the good arrows, by the way. Not the best arrows I can make, but... Alright, we should open up some new things. Ooze and ooze bomb. Okay, so there's some kind of ooze bomb with these frickin' things. This is a sit-up-in-the-chair situation. I probably should make a, a bed. No, because I can always teleport back, so I don't really need a bed here. Okay. If there's a third one over there, we'll try and melee him. Now we've got a bunch of skellies. Bunch of skellies. Okay. Oh, maybe we got some leeches in here. Oh, we're in the meadows now. There won't be any leeches in there. Well, there. No, I don't think so. All right. So let's come over here and mess with the skeletons. Looks like we got to clear out some undead, some undead riffraff. I'm gonna switch to regular arrows because it's just to get their attention. Wow, one shot it. What are you guys doing? You want to dance or what? Okay. Yeah, you got nothing for me, bro. Give me them bones. I want to keep that guy over there for now. I don't need him complicating things. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, your next attack after a successful parry uh, does more damage. Alright, what's up, dude? Okay. Oh, didn't get in time. Okay, you're done. Yeah, I just like practicing my parry. You know, the, 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 the combat in this game is pretty fun. Not gonna lie. It is pretty fun. It's kind of simple at the moment, but not that simple. I'm pretty sure I looked in all these places. Oh, maybe not. Feathers are super important. Super duper important. Alright, nothing in there. Alright, leeches, where are you? That's right. Come to Papa. There you go. Oh, they got another. They got a DOT too. Shoot, I hate that. I also like the way it gets all dark when I come in here. Okay. Very good. Did I get any leech stuff? Yes, I did. Okay, very good. Getting some bones. Yeah, I hate the darkness in here, man. This place is absolutely creepy as hell. Alright. This is what we're here for, people. And we now have an outpost for the swamp. For not to get snuck up on. Uh, let's go ahead and keep eating. Gotta keep the, the hit points up. Oh, God. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm getting hammered here. Is that gonna stop anytime soon? There it goes. Okay. Woo! Freaking A, right? Okay, it was kind of getting late out there, so I figured I'd uh, run my butt back home. Uh, plus, like, my hit points were taking... How long does this fermenter take? Can you do more than one thing at a time? Because uh, I could have really used a health potion uh, there. And I'd like to find out what the leeches do to me. What those slimes do to me. If there's... I mean, I guess I could do some... Uh, maybe some poison resistance. I don't know which one was poison, so... Was the leech stuff poison? I got a lot of research to do. Anyway, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then... Take it easy.